Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. We are currently exploring Deadlight and the fort, hunting for Benwit, which was the pirate that wanted to kill us at the start of the game. I'm very much enjoying this, this area. There's apparently multiple ways to reach Benwith or even to kill him without fighting by rigging this thingy here. Uh, but we helped the people in the forge. Uh, Captain... something something... Uh, Lamon? Lamont? Lamond, <laughs> Lamond. Uh, and he wants us to clear the dock downstairs from pirates so that he can steal Benwith's ship and then lure him out by himself. I think I'm gonna go for that, it sounds the, the coolest approach. But right now I want to explore this area of the kitchen because I've never been here before. And I want to see what's here. Cookie mine. Cookie. <laughs> uh, let me just take Seraphin. He has the highest stealth. Some gold. Uh, I think that people that don't have an eye on top of them are not enemies. Do I hear a mouse scratching scratch? Yeah. A portly woman startles at your approach. As she downswings her meat cleaver, she nearly catches her fingers. Oh god. Glowering, she more carefully resumes hacking at what looks to be a slab of ribs. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Only Benwith's crew has access to my kitchens. Not that I care, really. Speak up so I can hear you. You don't care if I'm trespassing? Think I want to tattle on you? What do I care if you're looking to hang yourself? Sneak Fair. around enough where you ain't supposed to, Benwith will catch ya. Carve you into chunks for my stew. Wonderful. She cracks her meat cleaver on the counter. And again, let me just say, I love the graphics. And look at this, the lighting and the fireplace. Really cool. I'm just a sucker for this kind of setting. I really, <laughs> I really just enjoy it very much. I'm looking for Captain Benwith. You won't find him in the kitchens ever. He's I am mighty, gold bricking in Captain Aldi's quarters now. Okay, so we knew this already. These stairs go back to the court. It's the tower adjacent to this one that leads to Aldi's quarters. Okay. She points out the stairs in the back of the kitchen with a slice of her cleaver through the air. Okay, for well. <clears throat> she doesn't seem to care that we are here. Not a chance. Scents of cooking meat and strong spices waft from a simmering from this simmering stew. Okay, so where where are we actually? Oh, we are we are back in the um, the dungeons area. Oh, okay. Well, this was the place we had to go to the underground dock. So I guess I'm happy <laughs> that I came this way into the kitchen. But let me just explore this area first. I haven't been here before. Right? I don't think I have, at least. Okay, so my scout will go ahead. When I say scout, I mean Seraphon, not my multi-class. Okay, so this guy is an enemy. This requires one lockpick. But if I'm the one doing it, it requires no lockpicks. Mm. Okay, there's actually quite a few of you. Is this the prison? Oh, it might... Okay, so it connects the prison where there's a lot of guards here. These are the powder stores, apparently. Yeah, I don't want to go there. But I imagine that if I wanted to start a fight, there would be a lot of gunpowder to blow up. Okay, that would be cool. So, let me bring my rogue here. And lockpick this. Where there's a pick, there's a way. Okay. I'll see it done. Ooh, okay, let's let's be a little bit more careful here. Captain. Seraphon. I'm not gonna fight. I turned this on just because I wanted that effect. Okay, so these guys they detect me fairly quickly. Yeah, I kind of wanted to grab whatever's in there, but I think I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm gonna leave it for later. Yeah, yeah, just, just back up, just back up. This seems risky to me. Okay. Well, let's just continue on our quest here. To go to the underground docks. 
And maybe after I completed my quest of dealing with Benwith, I might come back and just kill everything. We'll see. It, it depends. I'm, I'm not very powerful yet. I'm not sure I want to take on a fort full of pirates. But we are in for a fight down here, I think, because he said kill the pirates in the docks. So I'm guessing that means fight. The cargo hold lies empty. Okay, some gunpowder barrels. There's a pirate over there. Okay, there's a there's they're very clumped up though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having some ideas here. I think. Uh -huh. I think I want to try something here. Because I, I, I remember seeing something about making noise to lure enemies into places, and I picked up these spark crackers, which is a bomb that does a lot of damage. It's silent to use, so nobody would hear me throwing it, but it does a lot of damage when it impacts. And it will distract people. Okay. <clears throat> so my goal with this would be to... Um, my goal with this would be to throw it so that people would go to investigate <clears throat> and then just murder them all. So ideally, I would find a way to throw these without actually hurting anyone. Maybe you are the better person to do this because you are closer. Let me just do this again. So you... Oops. Throw these. Or maybe I can just point it at the barrel. Maybe it doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, so if I could bring them all over here, <clears throat> it would be perfect. And hopefully this one blows up this one and this one. Okay, quick save. Do you have your Arquebus? Yes, you do. Everyone is fine. You have this enabled. Everything is looking good. There's a lot of enemies, so I'm going to swap to um, Defender Stance. Okay. And let's toss this then. Or actually, I'm going to wait for this guy to... No, let's just toss it. So I would say here... Aye, aye. Oh, 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 oh. Perfection? Oh, baby. Blow it up. Oh, come on. Oh. I did not reveal myself by shooting, really. And they're just looking at it. <laughs> they're just looking at it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. And I, I didn't even get revealed. Bitch, come here. Let's fight. Wait, where are you going? Where did those new... Na turn the... Turn the what? Turn the snoops into shark bait. Oh, okay. He was very confused, but he's back now. So we have a rogue over there. We have this guy who's a buccaneer. We're gonna mess him up because we're gonna assassinate. And all of you can just join the fight. And this is a fire area here. So people going through should take fire damage. 72 damage from my rogue. Awesome. Let's use the second shot to get a wounding shot on this one. Blam! Oh, did I miss? I grazed. That's very unfortunate. Why aren't you moving? I don't know. Weird. Let's let's blind him. Why are, oh, I, I think he was kind of stuck there. Okay. This is a single enemy. I don't expect any kind of trouble here. 
And apparently Seraphin cannot reach. But now you can. Okay, he was going for Piggy. So Mr. Tiny Mustache Man avenged Piggy. And just blew him up. Okay, that was a very effective kill right there. And the, and the, um, the firecrackers? Proved quite useful. Okay, crossbow and some more stuff. Leave it to me. A lot of loot. Oh, what is this? Deadlight's Western Tower Key. And the Grimoire. And a fine sword. Another Arquebus, Principi Leather Armor. Okay, so I, I kind of want to pick up every single thing except the key. So that I can have um, the experience from lock picking. <clears throat> Let's go like this. Leave the key over there. Okay. And... Wait, sorry. It said the key to... Western Tower Key. Okay. So I kind of want to blow up these barrels as well because they might have something, yeah, and they do. Yes. Okay, so can we? I don't. I don't trust the pathing here to not get caught on the fire, but we heal anyway afterwards. So I think it's whatever. Another archivist. Okay. So at this point, I think we probably could go back to the forge and tell the guys that we cleared the we cleared the enemies. Let me just see what's over here first. Keep an eye out. To the western ramparts. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're, we're at the forge again. So it's it's kind of like a shortcut. Okay, so first of all, let's go here. Oh, but right, he did say that we had to ring the bell three times, and I think the way to the bell was through the western tower. You found that thing. Let me cover my ears. Oh, no, never mind. It's actually just through here. So I don't... I don't know what the um, uh, what the key is for. Ooh, a pike can't do anything over here. Uh, there is something over there, though. Okay, so this I think is where we ring the bell to call Ben with. I'm guessing. <clears throat> so. Let's just look at what we have first. Some armor pieces, some barrels. <sighs> no, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, so here we have guards. Okay. I think the only place that I haven't explored yet is this little corner over here, which I'm not sure. Oh, I am. Okay. I know, I know how to go there. Never mind. There's a ladder near the forge, and I'm guessing it's through there. But other than that, I think I have the command area to explore. And then I'm just going to tell them that we took care of the guards and they can go steal the ship. Okay, to the balcony. And on the balcony there was a chest, which got me very interested. Okay, so here... I'll deal with this. Oh. It's finished. A scroll of circle of protection requires five arcana. Some more food. Let's go in. So I'm going to explore this command area because it's a new area. And then we're going to tell them that, you know, they can go and steal the ship. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this leads to Benwitz's um, 
room. But it might, since it's called command. Couple leaf. A briny wind howls against the window. There's a rogue over there. Where there's a pick, there's a way. Done. Okay, let's let's be careful here in case done and done. something strange happens. And for you, by the way, I want to give you something else. Well, you can have a plate helm. I don't think it makes a difference, but <laughs> it looks cool. Um, I picked up an axe. Yeah, there you go. So another battle axe. And is it better than... Oh. Is it better than this? 14 to 20. 15 to 22. Slashing. I'm not sure how well he handles using a blunderbuss along with an axe. But this one is also inaccurate. So might as well just use axes. Right? Yeah, 36. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so let's see what we have here. More pirates. <sighs> okay, so there's okay, so there's Ben with. Let me just quick save because I don't want to start a fight here. I just want to investigate the area. So Benwith has one, two, three. Oh, he has a lot of friends. So four, five, six plus him. Yeah, so taking him alone, I think, would be the best choice here. Just gonna steal everything before. Or first, sorry. Ah. Uh, well, I have 23 lockpicks, so just do it. Very easy breezy. Grant's leap. What is leap? To per rest. Drawing upon reserves of intense spiritual power, barbarians are able to leap high into the air and crash down upon their foes, dazing them. This is awesome. Yeah, this is a barbarian ability from also from PoE one, but I I thought it was a very late game ability. Slazy. Having access to this, I think, makes me happy. These are going to be new boots for it there, I'm thinking. Or maybe for him, if he's not on a stealth mission. Can I grab this before going away? I can. Blessed incense. What is this? Ungens. I don't know how to spell this word. Ungens or ungens can be used in another combat to provide various benefits, typically increasing one or more of the user's skills. Okay. Cool. And this is just a room. This looks very much like a hidden door, doesn't it? Let's let's no, let's not, not let's not go there. Okay. So we know there's a guard here, and this looks like a hidden door. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there just yet. We're gonna back off, we're gonna go to the court. We're gonna tell Lamond that he can steal uh, Benwith's ship, aye, aye. which I think is called Drake. And then we can take Benwith on by himself. Okay, so just to make sure I don't mess this up, let's quick save. Uh, I don't want to pickpocket. Got a spot of blood on you, mate. I take it, it all's going to plan. Indeed, the docks have been cleared. Me and my crew will be taking the Drake now, then. Head on to the western ramparts and sound the signal. Farewell. Uh. Got a spot of blood on you, mate. Me and my crew will be taking the Drake. Okay, I, 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 I guess they'll just go once we're out of here. Okay, so let's go up. And I don't know how Benwitz is going to show up. I, from, from what I've been seeing, it sounds like he's going to come alone. But, you know, if he doesn't come alone, <clears throat> we have to be careful. There's a gunpowder barrel over there, which we might be able to use. But there are guards over here. So, I think... <clears throat> 
Now, I'm gonna position here in case the AI is smart and blows up the barrel and everybody's hiding over there and then we just die. <clears throat> so that's a that's a no-go. Okay, so hey, how do I want this? I know I want Mr. Piggy over here and okay. Seraphon over here in case the guy tries to come this way. Yes. And then all of uh, my back line will be mm -hmm. ready over here. Okay, what do you need? Quick save. Let's swap to warrior stance. Yep. Mm. Who's rang the bell and why? Oh, he's coming from the right. Oh, that's bad. Stop! Stop! That's my ultra fucking shit! No, actually, my party got moved. They can perish those goddamn swivers. I'll blast them from the sea. No, you won't, bitch. No, you won't. So, Keep let's approach eye. in stealth, I suppose. Hmm? But we are going to reveal it there. Sup, bitch? Mouth agape, the captain pants to catch his breath. As he watches his ship sail away, his brows descend like a dark storm. Do I know you? Scowling, he rubs the back of his neck. Well, you won't be the first I've pissed off and forgotten. Hmm, true. Well, how's this? I'm going to mount your skull in my cabin. <laughs> and you make good on your frets, no matter how long it takes. He laughs roughly. Ah, right. You're that sloop captain what got caught in the storms. I take it you did a number on my crew. Figures. I should have stayed to kill you myself. Looks like I'll have to remedy that now. <laughs> Good luck, dude. He... Sorry. <clears throat> he sneers with crooked teeth and scratches his calloused fingers down the scar on his face. But you notice that as he does, he darts his gaze around searching for reinforcements. Ones that aren't there. What you hope to accomplish coming around here? Hmm. Maybe if you're playing like an evil character, you can not kill him and maybe ally with him or something. <clears throat> Guessing that's the, this second choice here. But in my playthrough, no one's coming to save you, Benny boy. Sweat trickles down the side of his face. He winces as he wipes it away. You can fight me if you like. But you won't be leaving this fault alive. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> I like this intimidate option, laugh wildly in his face. Say there was a way to settle this without bloodshed. No. Shut up and think for a minute. Minute. You want someone like me on your side. Yeah, so clearly we can side with him. Furante is scheming to take you out. Or your unchecked behavior is a risk to the Principe's continued prosperity. Or just lunge for his throat. I like laughing wildly in his face. What, are you frothing mad? <laughs> the color leeches from his face, leaving his scar stark against his skin. Slap him in the face. You lunge for the smirking captain, but he's faster than you. Oh, really? Surprisingly agile for his hulking size as he ducks and weaves. Ha! Rankled you, did I? He backsteps, dodging with the bark of laughter. We'll be fighting to the death now. Yes, we will, my friend. Speeding with a mad grin, he draws his pistol. Is he ranged? Oh, we got unstealthed. Ah, that sucks. Well, let's see here. I'm gonna make this guy hobbled, and then go for a wounding shot. Uh, Seraphon, you are going to try and blind him. Or actually, first I'm gonna give everybody a blessing. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna try and do those things. So, uh, we're not even in combat yet. Okay, now we're in combat. So, blessing on everybody. Hey there. Go for this and try to knock him down. He is two levels above me. And apparently, hey there is not gonna deal a lot of damage to him. Which is unfortunate. Although, we can see at the top left that he is weak versus bludgeoning. Versus crushing. So maybe if I swap. Yeah, that would be better. And I can even maybe. No, he has nine armor, so everybody should be able to pierce. Oh, you aren't. Okay. 
How much would the axes deal? Seven penetration. So even if I had the buff or the debuff from the rending smash, it wouldn't make a difference. Piggy is gonna go and um, flank. I'm gonna I'm gonna buff and wait for the blessing before casting my spells. And that's it. So you go there. Ooh, nice shot, 43 damage. I'm gonna swap for my hunting bow because it's gonna take a lot of time to actually, you know, reload here. So, wounding shot, go for it. We're gonna have the blessing hit everybody. I can speed this up. I don't think this is gonna be very threatening. He's alone at... Okay. He is escaping, apparently. And I also have Frenzy, that's right. So 25% more action speed, but I lose deflection. And I'm strong and fit for 18 seconds. I do enjoy that. So do that. We have the Blessing on top of us. So I'm gonna go for Divine Mark, but he's already half HP, so I don't really expect a lot of trouble from him. Um, what else do I want here? Maybe a Necrotic Lance and then just beat him up? Yep. And you... Yeah, you're doing this. Sure. Future. Let's try to knock him down again. Oh, you utter bitch. He's coming for my rogue. But you're dead, man. You just don't know it. Yeah. Achievement unlocked. Conduct unbecoming. And we gain two thingies. Two achievement points, I think. Wait, you didn't level up? Why not? Was he that much of a lower level than us? It's like 300 experience difference. 330. Weird. Okay, so what do you have, my friend? You have a exceptional pistol. I'll take that. A fine saber. Gimme. This is all whatever, I think. Black pearl ingredient. Red cape, don't care. Miscreant's leathers. Exceptional. Okay, this is gonna be a very nice buff in terms of gear for somebody in my party. <clears throat> Recovery time plus 20%. Deft motion minus 10% recovery time plus 8 reflex. Wow. This could be very good for my own main character. Because what am, what am I using? I'm using this. So this is just better. Although... I don't get this. It, it says Deft Motion minus 10% recovery time. Uh, is this going to apply on top of this? Or is this already the result of having this? I think it's going to apply on top because Light Armor has a default of 20. Okay, let, let's see if I can... If I can understand this properly here. So, um, where can I see my recovery time? So, like this, maybe. Attack time, 0 0.6. 0 0.7 base, minus 19% dexterity. Already forgot the value. So, 0 0.6 and 7.2. 0.6 and 6.5. Oh, yes, my friend. I like that. I liked it quite a bit. And fine leather arm, I think I can give to Shoti. Oh, no, she's using... Never mind, she's using the better one. Okay, okay. And we got a fine saber that compares to my sword how deals more damage, has significantly more penetration. I do lose the, the deflection bonus, however. 62 goes to 57. I, I think I, I just prefer him to be tanky. And if I need more penetration, I can just swap to the mace. Well, actually, 8, 9, not that much of a difference, but I like the, the different type of damage. Okay, so we picked up some nice gear here, and the exceptional pistol, let me see, 
So the pistol deals less damage, has the same penetration as the arquebus, the range is shorter, reload time is much faster though. Hmm. I might actually want the pistol to try it out because it's faster overall. It's worse for an opening salvo. But it's it's better to just keep on shooting. Though this one 19 to 33 2329. I think I think I still prefer it like this. Well, I can try I can try this. I can try this. Okay. <clears throat> If I come up to enemies which are immune to piercing, I'm gonna cry, but <laughs> let's hope it doesn't come to that. And I know we leveled up, I'm gonna try and keep that for the next episode. And for now, I just want to continue exploring here. So we killed Benwith, that's our main objective in Dead, uh, Deadlight done. I wanna see how the quest looks now. So blow the man down. We have confronted Ben with and he killed him. But the quest is not complete. So... Oh, wait. This changed. I've made an impression on the Pirates of the Dead Fire by defeating Ben with. Captain Furante, who resides in the island of Dunnage, will be pleased to learn of the meddlesome pirate's demise. Okay. So, now that I killed Ben with, does it change anything in terms of the pirates in the area? No, this is still considered stealing. And if I go to the command area, <clears throat> what do I get? These are still hostile. Okay. Okay. So let me see. Um, I kind of want to kill these people because they were allies to Benwith. And I want to explore this area. Whoa, whoa. Oh, now they're already ca uh, counted as enemies here. They're not even like this. Okay, okay. Let me just go outside first. Or explore the rest of the area, see if anything's changed. My eyes be open. I just cannot go here yet. Nothing for me to do here either. So, maybe I want to go to the underground docks? No. Uh, to the dungeons. All of the people here are gone because they went on the boat, I'm guessing. Okay. So, for example, there were some guard dogs over here and a guard pirate as well. They are still here. They no longer have an eye on top of them, though. And I think they had before, right? This is not open. There was a guard here before. Yeah, the guard is gone. Okay. But these are apparently still enemies. Okay, so I want to go to the courtyard and free the lady that was afraid of Benwith. And maybe she has something to tell us. Okay. This lady here, Sadwin. Spit on me and I'll make you regret it. Now I'll cut you One loose. One day, not that I ain't grateful, but if Ben's crew spots me about, they'll be taking more than my pride next. Yeah, Ben won't be troubling you anytime soon. Blind me. Someone got the best of Brutal Benny. Come drink with me at the court sometime. He best <clears> believe <throat> I'll be celebrating his blessing from the gods. Okay, so now we can go to the court and maybe talk to her again. And also talk to Murky. Because, I don't know, she, she didn't seem to like him that, that much either. So to the court we go, and I'm guessing in a future playthrough I'm gonna try and just blow them up, 
by rigging the, the thing here, the piano, whose name I don't know how to pronounce. Yeah, you see here, the ben Benwitz guards are gone. Black pox, me! Okay. Drum me fucking dry! <laughs> God. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, it's, it's she blinks up at you as if trying to clear her sight. Don't suppose you're looking for another Sodom on that boat of yours? Why? Are you looking to leave here? I just ain't what it's been, you know? Bit hot for my taste, if you catch my meaning. She swigs from her cup. And better a boat full of friends than a fort full of... Full of... Foes! <laughs> okay. Yeah! Foes! Well, not foes, but not friends neither. She sighs into her cup. What do you have to offer me? Such. No, not like a dowry. She blinks wetly. Oh, like what can I do? Yes. Sure, uh, I'm real good with my fists. And not half bad with a blade neither. Might not look it, but I can take a hit and keep punching. Okay. Yeah, likely on account of being so full of a rum. <laughs> You're full of rum. Right, good comeback, lass. Yeah. <laughs> Set of size and rubs the bridge of his nose. Well, grab your stuff and claim a bunk. I like her. She blinks, then straightens, more or less, and salutes. Sure about this, Cap. Word's always been that Mercury fell out the womb three sheets soused. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, stuff them sheets up your ballast hole, you sorry old furball. <laughs> Another boisterous drunkard. I... God, I'm starting to sound like a dare. <laughs> I, I think he's talking about dudes. Oi, oi, Captain, see you aboard. She winks and, with a hand holding her hat to her head, runs from the room. Oh, so it's a new companion! Wait, sidekicks? What is a sidekick? Sidekicks start out as unique NPCs in integral to specific quests, complete with their own personalities and looks, and they may offer to join your party as a reward for completing their quest. Just like companions, these new characters have a custom portrait and voice sound set. However, unlike companions, they do not have their own vision quest and will not participate in the companion relationship system. Ah. So... So what? They're like... A toned down version of a... Of a companion? I guess. Okay, so here we have... <clears throat> she can be a monk, a monk and a fighter, or a monk and a rogue. Uh, I think two very martial classes don't really benefit that much from, you know, from being together. Maybe an, a monk and a rogue, because these do have some interesting um, synergies, I guess. Wait, the, oh, she, she comes with these talents, is that it? She comes with dirty fighting, two weapon style. Crippling Strike, Escape, and then she also has Force of Anguish, Efficient Anguish. What the hell? She already has level 4 spells? The hell? Enlightened Agony, Clarity of Agony, Stunning Blow. She does not get these down here, however. Okay. I mean, for a melee rogue. Oh, she's a street fighter. So, sneak attack becomes more deadly and recovery decreases when the street fighter is flanked or bloodied. Ah, so this, this synergizes much better. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can play around with her being a shadow dancer. <clears throat> Except. Awesome. Uh... I think I'm gonna be playing with companions only, not sidekicks, but if I ever need her, I guess I can take her. Captain. Okay, done cool. Done. Do you have any new dialogue for me? Well, there's something else she want Nope, she does not. Okay, so I wanna pick uh, lockpick this for the experience. 
And I also want to see if the guards outside are still there. Now that, you know, Benwith is dead. Okay, so there was this lady over here. Keep it down. No, she's gone. Okay, cool. So, we can take this secret thing here. Onyx and turquoise. Money. What else do we have? The guards are also gone from here. Okay, so maybe we can now walk freely <clears throat> in the ramparts. Oh, what about you? No. Is it true? Did Ben die choking on his own blood? Okay, so the news have spread that Ben with is dead. You want to give me a discount now that I killed your captain? You got a spot of blood on you? Actually, never mind. How can I do you, Captain? Right away. He does give me a discount. Did he give me a discount before? Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. Man, yeah, it's too expensive, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, nothing from him. Uh, is the lady still here? No, she's also gone. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to the Eastern Ramparts. Which, if all the guards are gone, I'm gonna guess they're also empty. We can pick up a pistol here. Some bombs and stuff, awesome. Yeah, there's no... Oh! Lud. Oh, he's very fluffy. Perception? Cool. And your party is less likely to be hit by enemies. 5% of hits become grazes. Uh, I prefer this one then. 10% of crits. Crits are less likely by default anyway. <clears throat> but I think I prefer it like this. Uh, yeah, I've been here before. Nice chest. Very juicy this. looking. It's finished. God kill Ah, so this okay. This was the rum I'm guessing for for dealing with Benwith the other way by giving it to Murky. Oh crap. Wait. Wait. No, no, no. Okay, so there there's still some enemies. Here. I'm going to quick save. I want to see if, if 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 I kill these enemies, do the rest of the pirates go hostile? That, that's what I want to know here. Okay, so you go over here. Yeah, okay, so they, they still don't like it. Um, well, let's fight and then let's see if the rest of the people are also, you know, hostile. It doesn't say anything about losing reputation or anything like that. Okay, so let's try and knock this guy down. Mr. Piggy go over there. You can go over there. Shoti come here. Aloth, you can buff yourself. Uh, no, actually, just, just wait. Or you can just start shooting this rogue here. And I'm gonna try and blow up this rogue as quickly as possible with my Arquebus. A very good shot. He's already bloodied. And I'm gonna go for another shot right now. Maybe I can just kill him right here. Stronger. He's very weak. He's very dead. Okay. So let's swap for our pistol and see how that works. And I'm gonna go for a crippling strike. And then we'll see. You are going to get frenzied. Mr. Piggy is gonna flank. Spellblade, a priest, and a buccaneer. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is... These are all ranged. Ooh, what is this? Gunpowder barrel, you don't say. Huh. Okay, let's get a slicken over here. Try to drop them down. And I think I'm actually going to go with my rogue to try and blow this up instead of trying to shoot that guy. Yeah, let's do that. 
Ow, bitch. Okay, you are strong and fit. Don't need to hide anymore. This guy's coming in. So you maybe go over there. Leave it to me. Okay. Knock down. Shoti, give me a blessing. Slicken is going out. Where are you going, Mr. Piggy? Go over there. No, Piggy. No, no, Piggy. Sometimes the, the, the pathing is very bad. <laughs> like, very bad. Blam. Okay, that's on fire. That's good. So I can just start shooting the other people because this will blow up on its own. Let's back up here. He got knocked down. Go for a crippling strike. Shoti, give us some defenses. You can just shoot, I think. Yeah. Slicken went up. We took 28 damage from that shot. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, bitch? Okay. Let's actually focus on the spell blade with my rogue. And also Mr. Aloth. Or I can just melt him. Uh, no. Let's use Expose Vulnerabilities, which can actually hit everybody, and then we shall see. You are hitting this guy, correct? I think so. We can speed this up. Okay, let's, let's actually heal with you. Okay. We're healed. Try to knock him down. You should be fine. Oh. Okay. Let's get a, a, a Holy Radiance here. This guy, being a Spellblade, he's a wizard plus a rogue. But he's gonna take a shot in the face, I think. Come on. Shoot him. Dead. Wounding shot over there. And go for these over here. And done. Nice. Yes. Okay. So, you guys just have some normal stuff. I actually forgot to check the the previous grimoire. Indeed. I will do that very soon. But before we go any further, let me check if if I'm still safe in this region because if if the entire deadlight area is now hostile, I'm going I'm just going to quick load. Because it, it is not my intention to... Ah, okay. No, everything's fine. Like what you see. Okay, cool. Uh, in terms of reputation... Nothing seems to have happened. Port Mahe, Valiant, Principis in Patrena... I apparently have positive reputation. So, I think I'm fine doing this? I hope so. <laughs> okay, let's check out the rest of this. These enemies are much more manageable than some of the other ones we've found so far. Because I think all of these were at my level. They didn't have skulls on top of them. Or not that I noticed at least. Okay. So I do believe the only thing left is the command area. Uh, so there. And also the prison, that's right. The prison also has enemies, I think. Okay, so we're gonna go here. And I might start with... Oh, crap. This is not what I wanted to be. Don't see me coming. Huh? Wait, let, 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 let me quick save here. You guys aren't hostile? Sure. You're not hostile. I can't read with the eye. What are they saying? Okay, dot, dot, dot. 
Okay, so they aren't hostile. Interesting. Uh, let's disarm this. Oh, a fine pistol. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't see why not. I have an exceptional one, but still. And are you also friendly? He is friendly. Okay. So I'm going to go and look at the prison, see if they are also hostile or if like these, they're not. And I'll deal with this. take care of this as well. Let me just quick save because well, this test stealing and I'm afraid yeah. something bad's going to happen. It's finished. Seems to be okay. All right. And the dungeons, I think I have to go down again. And I'm gonna check on the guard dogs. All right, there were guards nice here as well in this region. There were three guards. And those over there as well. Okay. So... Are you guys what do you need? friendly? Yeah. They are friendly. Okay. Oh, yes. Give me. Okay, dude, that was a a good find. Uh, where is it? Oh, I I put it on my rogue. Yeah. Lovely upgrade right there. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. Hey. Uh -huh. So, are you guys also my friends? Can you believe someone killed Captain Ben? Okay, so apparently they heard about Benwith dying and they just kind of gave up on keeping the place safe. Man, I kind of want to blow this entire place up because it sounds cool. <laughs> but I, I better not. Oh. A fine brigandine. Gimme. Hide armor. And what is this? 15% of misses are converted to grazes with proficient weapons. Um, I guess Seraphon? Does he have gloves? He does not. So you take these. A concussion bomb. Extremely loud. It will push people away and deal crushing damage. Oh, right. I forgot these. The bounding boots. I think I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put the bounding boots on him. And I'm going to give the boots of stealth for my character. Because I also like sneaking around. And this will help out a lot. Okay. Hmm? So this area uh -huh. is cleared. And... The prison area... Ah, this area. Okay, at this point I'm kind of assuming that... There are no more hostile people here. Yeah. You can just go up. And take this. Yeah, this, this would have been a nasty fight. The hay reeks of urine. Wonderful. So, the guard dogs were over here. With the guard pirate. I shall check on those. Level 5 mechanics. Okay, that's a little bit more than usual. Yeah, they don't care now. Okay, cool. And I guess I can also check this area now. So, we can use a rope and a grappling hook to lower... Well, to lower the rope. You tether a rope on the window ledge before casting its link down to the beach. Okay. Rising like a tidal wave above the ocean, a white stone wall stretches into the sky. Halfway between the Adlite's battlement and the rocky cove, at its base, an arched window opens into the salty air. What? I think they're telling the story as if I were down here. Okay, let's, let's climb down. You slide down the rope to the rocky beach, dropping to land in a crouch a few feet from the rope's end. Shells crunch beneath your feet as you step toward the shoreline. Okay, so what can you find at the beach? Uh, 
Uh. Wait. What? Is there something over here that I'm not finding the interacting button with? No. Okay, so maybe this was... Maybe this was a different way of approaching Fort Deadlight. Because I came in because I had the Principis in Patrena's flag. But if I hadn't, maybe this would be a different way to do it. Okay, so let's just climb back up. So, I think the only enemies we have left are in the command area. So, I'm gonna go there. And I think it's through here, yeah. Because I wanna kill those people, I wanna check out Benwit's um, command area. See if there's like any hidden items or, you know, whatever <laughs> that might be interesting. Um, before I leave. Because I think the, the quest itself is pretty much complete. We just have to go back to Captain Furante and tell him that we killed Benwith. But that will be for later, I suppose. Okay, so this is where the enemies are. So I think what I'm going to do is, there's a bunch of enemies here. I think there were like six enemies in this area. I have a pretty good feeling about what I want to do. I am probably, if possible, if possible, I'm probably going to sneak my way into this room and use this choke point to keep them over here while I fight from inside out. Um, but I want to level up before I do that. So I think we're going to take the chance, since we're already close to one hour, to actually stop the episode. It's kind of a shame that this guy did not level up. Oh man, he's four experience away. <laughs> um, because at the beginning of the next episode, I'm gonna level up all of my characters. I will study what I wanna do, and then you'll just see me, you know, do the normal level up process. So I'm gonna uh, save the game here, 11. And as always, thank you so much for being here on the channel with me, watching some Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. I hope you guys are enjoying this Fort Deadlight area. Oh, I like this picture. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, if you want to talk about how you handle this area by yourself, if you, if you kill the guy on the piano, if you kill him like I did, or if you just go in guns blazing, you know, feel free to share your story. If you guys are enjoying the, um, the content, consider subscribing for more. There's videos coming out every single day. It's also a free and easy way to support the channel. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.